Hello everyone, it's Jude here and you're welcome to Smartwatch Series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get ECG and blood pressure measurement features on your Galaxy Watch 5 and Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Like the Galaxy Watch 4 and Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, the Galaxy Watch 5 and Galaxy Watch 5 Pro also have ECG and blood pressure measurement features. However, these two features are not available in every country of the world. That's probably because of different um, government policies. Moreover, for you to get access to these two features, you need the Samsung Health Monitor app. And this app oftentimes doesn't work well with non-Samsung smartphones. Fortunately and thankfully too, a user that goes by the name Dante63, a senior member at XDA Developers, has been able to modify the Samsung Health Monitor app. With the modified app, you can actually get ECG and blood pressure measurement features on your Galaxy Watch 5 and Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. So guys, check the link in the description, follow that link and this will take you to Google Drive, okay? This is a, a folder created by Dante City Tray himself. So go to that particular link. And once you're on that link, tap on the one that says phone.wls.mode. Okay. And tap on the download icon here to download this to your phone. Now, once you are done, download the second file. Open this folder that says watch. Okay. Now tap on watch. SHM and tap on the download icon to download this file as well to your phone. And once you have downloaded these two files, I have already downloaded the two files and I have moved this to a folder for easy accessibility. I have moved these two files to this particular folder. Now what you need to do is to install the phone.wls app on your phone. Tap on that particular app okay and tap on install to have this installed on your phone now once this file has been installed on your phone just tap on done okay next we need to install the second app and this particular apk file needs to be installed on your glass watch 5 or glass watch 5 pro to do this we are going to use open the play store app and search for bojaga you should see this particular app okay i have already installed this app on my phone open the app now this will likely bring you to this particular interface to remotely install the SHM app on your Galaxy Watch 5 you need to tap on the middle icon okay to bring you to this particular interface next we need to get the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro here ready to receive the app I forgot to mention for you to be able to remotely install the app you need to have both watch and phone on the same Wi-Fi network so go ahead and open the settings app Open the settings app and go to connections, turn off Bluetooth and have Wi-Fi enabled. I already have Wi-Fi enabled here. Um, next, scroll down to where it says about watch. Tap on that. Go to software info. Tap on that. Now tap on software version multiple times to enable developer mode you can see where it says developer mode turned on then go back and you should have developer options right under about watch tap on it now scroll down to locate adb debugging enable adb debugging accept that and scroll down further and enable debug over wi-fi now you should see the IP address of your Wi-Fi network, okay? We're going to enter this IP address on the Borjaga app. To connect the Borjaga app to your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, tap on the plus icon here with the plug, tap on that. And enter your, enter the IP address of your Wi-Fi network here, okay? And once you are done, and once you are done, tap on connect. Okay, you should see that the Borjaga app has connected to my Glasswood 5 Pro here. You should see where it says allow debugging. Tap on OK or allow from this computer. I'm going to tap on allow from this computer. Okay, now once this is done, tap on the plus icon at the top and 
locate the files we downloaded before okay the watch.shm app we need to install this on the galaxy watch 5 pro so tap on this and this should start installing this app on your galaxy watch 5 or galaxy watch 5 pro and once that is installed you should see the app appear below in the list of apps here now this can take a little while depending on the speed of your internet connectivity so guys the board app has successfully installed the samsung health monitor app on the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro here. Now, when you go to my ties here, okay, when you go to the list of ties here and scroll through, you should see we now have blood pressure and we also have ECG. So I'm going to tap on this to add this to my list of ties. I'm going to go back, I'll tap on this again and i'm going to add the second one which is ecg okay so we have successfully installed ecg and blood pressure measurement features on the glass Watch 5 pro so this is how you can get ecg and blood pressure measurement features on your glass Watch 5 or glass Watch 5 pro and know which you use so now that you have successfully installed samsung health monitor on your glass Watch 5 or glass Watch 5 pro you need to turn off adb debugging Turn this off, otherwise it will drain the battery life of your device. So go to the settings app, go to the settings app and go to developer options, tap on that. And first of all, turn off debuggable Wi-Fi. Okay, turn off ADB debugging and go back. Okay, go to about watch, go to software info tap on software version multiple times to turn off developer mode okay and i'll go back to the main menu you can see that we don't have developer options here anymore so the next thing you need to do here is to go to the connection option here and turn on bluetooth this is how your phone primarily communicates with your galaxy watch okay so turn this on all right and i'll go back and the next thing you need to do is to set this up. I've already done a video on this. Check the link that appears on the screen right now. Follow that link to learn how to set up blood pressure and ECG features on your Galaxy Watch 5 or Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. So that is it for this video. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, click on that like button. And of course, do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to always get updates from me whenever I upload a video like this. Until next time, goodbye.